Gong Gong, the ice-cold dwarf planet you've never heard of. What if I told you there's a mysterious planet in our solar system way beyond Neptune that's smaller than our moon but has a moon of its own? Imagine a world so far away it takes 554 Earth years to complete just one orbit around the sun. That's Gong Gong, a dwarf planet that breaks all the rules. If you thought Pluto was icy, wait until you see Gong Gong, one of the coldest places in the solar system, which to scientists' amazement is actually red. Most people are still in the dark about the true wonders of this fascinating planet. So join us as we uncover the mysteries of the intriguing Gong Gong dwarf planet. Dwarf planets are among the most intriguing objects in our solar system, and they're even more interesting because they make us question our understanding of what makes a planet. Unlike the familiar planets like Earth or Mars, dwarf planets occupy the outer reaches of our solar system, often residing in regions filled with icy bodies and debris. Pluto is often the first dwarf planet that comes to mind, but our solar system is home to other fascinating worlds. Think of Pluto as the more famous cousin who made headlines, but there are several less known and some unofficial dwarf planets that are the quiet, mysterious relative who lives in the outskirts of the solar system. One such fascinating world is Gong Gong. Unlike Pluto, which takes about 248 years to orbit the Sun, Gong Gong's orbit stretches over 554 Earth years. Although it's smaller than Earth's moon, Gong Gong has its own moon, Zion Leo, and an icy surface that makes it one of the coldest places in the solar system. But the story of Gong Gong gets more intriguing and mysterious when we consider its unique surface composition, appearance, and strange location in the Kuiper Belt. Keep watching as we explore this fascinating world and why it's not usually mentioned alongside the five IAU recognized dwarf planets, Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Maki Maki, and Eris. But to begin, let's provide some important context. Unless you're watching this from space, you're currently on a planet, essentially a massive sphere of material and heat. When we zoom out into space, we see Earth and three other rocky inner planets. As we move farther from the Sun, we encounter four large gas giants, mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Together, these eight planets make up our solar system four rocky terrestrial planets and four gas giants. However, this is just part of the story. Beyond the orbits of these major planets, there are numerous small, icy worlds scattered throughout the outer reaches of the solar system. Among these distant icy worlds is Gong Gong, officially designated as 2007-OR-10. Hey guys, just a moment before we continue. Be sure to join the Insane Curiosity channel. Click on the bell, you'll help us to make products of even higher quality. On July 17, 2007, American astronomers Megan Schwab, Michael Brown, and David Rabinowitz made a groundbreaking discovery, finding the dwarf planet Gong Gong as part of the Palomar Distant Solar System Survey. The survey conducted using the Samuel Oskin Telescope at Palomar Observatory near San Diego, California, aimed to find distant objects in the region of Sedna, beyond 50 AU from the Sun. This fascinating dwarf planet resides far beyond Neptune, in a region of space known as the Scattered Disk. Its orbit takes it well beyond the orbit of Neptune, making it one of the most remote objects we know of in the solar system. To put things in perspective, Gong Gong orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 67 times farther than Earth. Imagine being so distant from the Sun that your planet receives only a tiny fraction of the sunlight Earth does. Gong Gong's distance from the Sun is not just a fun fact. It has profound implications for its characteristics and the way it moves through space. Its journey around the Sun is incredibly slow compared to Earth's. This slow orbit contributes to its extreme temperatures and the length of its year, making it a striking contrast to the familiar cycles we experience on Earth. Now let's consider Gong Gong's size. It measures about 1,230 kilometers in diameter, making it one of the largest known trans-Neptunian objects discovered so far. To put that into perspective, it's significantly smaller than Earth's moon, which has a diameter of approximately 3,474 kilometers. 
Despite its smaller size compared to our moon, Gong Gong still holds its place as a sizable and important object in our solar system's outer reaches. Gong Gong's surface is primarily composed of ice, which reflects its location in the far reaches of space where temperatures are extremely low. This icy surface gives Gong Gong a characteristic pale appearance, and scientists later discovered that it has a reddish tint caused by organic compounds called tholins. These compounds form when sunlight interacts with the icy surface, creating a kind of cosmic paint that adds to Gong Gong's unique look. Gong Gong is also intriguing because of its rotation. It has a very slow rotation period, which means that a single day on Gong Gong takes about 22 hours to complete. This slow spin is quite unusual for distant objects like Gong Gong and adds to the mystery of how it formed and evolved over time. In 2019, the team that discovered the distant object held an online poll to let the public choose a name for it. The finalists were Gong Gong, the Chinese water god, Hall, the Germanic winter goddess, and Vili, a deity from Norse mythology. Each name was linked to themes of water, ice, snow, and the color red. Ultimately, Gong Gong won the poll, chosen by popular vote, and the name was submitted to the IAU. In February of 2020, the Minor Planet Center of the IAU accepted the name and updated its catalog. This name, originating from Chinese mythology, honors Gong Gong, a water deity, and marks the first time a planetary object has been named with a Chinese name. In terms of its environment, Gong Gong is a stark contrast to Earth. While Earth is a vibrant, life-sustaining planet with a temperate climate, Gong Gong is an icy world with extremely low temperatures. Its distance from the sun means that it receives very little sunlight, contributing to its icy surface and frigid conditions. This extreme cold makes Gong Gong a world of contrasts compared to our own blue planet. An even more interesting aspect of this strange dwarf planet is its orbit. It follows a highly elliptical path around the sun, which means its distance from the sun changes significantly over the course of its orbit. This elliptical orbit also means that Gong Gong's environment can vary, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding of its physical and orbital characteristics. Now, let's quickly look at the single moon of dwarf planet Gong Gong in the Kuiper Belt. What is Xiang Liu? And what role does it play in shaping Gong Gong's strange nature? In March of 2016, scientists found that Gong Gong was rotating unusually slow, suggesting that a moon's gravitational forces might be slowing it down. This led Jabba Kiss and his team to examine older Hubble Space Telescope images of Gong Gong. Their analysis of images from September 18, 2010 revealed a faint moon orbiting at least 15,000 kilometers or 9,300 miles away. The discovery was officially announced on October 17, 2016, though the moon had no provisional name at that time. They later identified Xiang Liu in earlier Hubble images from November 9, 2009. Follow-up observations in 2017 helped estimate Xiang Liu's brightness and provided more information about its orbit. Xiang Liu is about 4.59 magnitudes dimmer than Gong Gong and orbits between 20 and 100 days. More accurate data later placed its orbit at 25.22 days at a distance of around 24,021 kilometers or 14,926 miles. Xiang Liu is thought to be tidally locked to Gong Gong, meaning the same side always faces the dwarf planet. Because scientists have observed Xiang Liu over only a small part of Gong Gong's orbit around the Sun, they still can't tell if its orbit is prograde or retrograde. If Xiang Liu's orbit is prograde, it's inclined by about 83 degrees to the ecliptic, suggesting that Gong Gong is viewed nearly pole on. The orbit is highly eccentric, oval shaped, with an eccentricity value of 0.29, which could have been caused by tidal wave forces or Gong Gong's irregular shape. Xiang Liu's dynamics are similar to Quarwar's moon, Weiwat, which also has a moderately eccentric orbit. The moon was named after the nine-headed venomous snake in Chinese mythology, Zhang Liu, who served the water god Gong Gong and was known for causing floods and destruction. Now, let's briefly look at the brightness of the dwarf planet. With an absolute magnitude, H, of 2.34, 
Gong Gong ranks as the seventh brightest known trans-Neptunian object, falling between Orcus and Quarwar in terms of brightness. However, estimates from the Minor Planet Center and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory Small Body Database suggest that Gong Gong's absolute magnitude could be as high as 1.6 or 1.8, which would propel it to fifth place among the brightest trans-Neptunian objects. At a distance of 88 AU from the Sun, Gong Gong's apparent magnitude is a faint 21.5, making it impossible to spot with the naked eye from Earth. Despite being closer to the Sun than the dwarf planet Eris, Gong Gong appears dimmer due to its lower albedo, whereas Eris shines with an apparent magnitude of 18.8. .8. What's next for the exploration of Gong Gong and other Kuiper Belt objects? The Kuiper Belt is a trove of scientific discoveries. The discovery and evaluation of Kuiper Belt objects KBOs, also referred to as trans-Neptunian objects or TNOs, have contributed to a renewed understanding of the solar system's past. Despite the progress in astronomy and robotic explorers, our understanding of the trans-Neptunian region and the Kuiper Belt is still limited. To date, the only mission to investigate Uranus, Neptune, and their significant moons was Voyager 2, which flew by these ice giants in 1986 and 1989. Furthermore, the New Horizons mission was the first spacecraft to explore Pluto and its moons in July of 2015, and the only one to meet a Kuiper Belt object, which occurred on January 1, 2019, when it passed by the KBO called Arakoth. Researchers are now interested in using the JWST to examine these planetoids in the Kuiper Belt, Sedna, Gong Gong, and Quarwar. A recent study by planetary scientist Amanda Zangari estimated that a flyby mission to Gong Gong would take at least 20 years with current rocket technology. A flyby could take just under 25 years with a Jupiter gravity assist, assuming a launch around 2030 or 2031. Gong Gong would be about 95 AU from the Sun when the spacecraft reaches it. Gong Gong's distinctive traits make it an appealing target for upcoming space missions. Close-up study could yield invaluable knowledge about the solar system's creation and development. As technology evolves, we can expect more in-depth observations and possibly even a dedicated mission to this intriguing dwarf planet. Investigating dwarf planets like Gong Gong is vital for enhancing our grasp of the solar system's origins and composition. These remote objects are relics from the early solar system and offer hints about its formation and evolution. Understanding dwarf planets can also help in analyzing the distribution of water ice and other volatile materials in the outer solar system. Now, over to you. What other hidden planets or dwarf planets should we explore next? Feel free to leave your answers in the comments below. If you liked the video, then you should check out the one on your screen. This dive into Ceres, the closest and smallest dwarf planet, will blow your mind. Thanks for watching.